Okay. So uh, what we got so far, I managed to put that nut in there, tighten it up. Now we're gonna do these two things here. We're gonna use a number 12, a number 12 wrench. Tighten that up after everything is lined up. And there it is. Carriage bolts doing their job. So now the one in the back. take um, this moment to, to thank my son because he helps me all the time doing this kind of stuff. I can say one thing without him I wouldn't be able to accomplish this kind of stuff and I really thank him for that for helping me out. He's a good cameraman he was lucky enough he already ate Okay, so here I have it. Okay, I'll put it like this. Nice and tight. This one here, nice and tight. Okay, now I got this one uh, Allen wrench bolt here, which uses. Um, wow, this is really beat up. I cannot even tell what it is, but it uses the. It uses, let me see, so the number one, two, three, four, the fifth one. So I'm thinking this is like a number four or a three. If it's right in perfect. And it goes in the rear bracket with This um, filter has all kinds of small parts, which is pretty amazing. I thought it was going to be pretty simple, but I've been at it for an hour. So it's nice and tight. Now I'm going to tighten up the one in the back, and it should be number 10. in there I'm squishing it quite a bit so I don't want that so I'm gonna see what the deal is for the sake of vibration is the reason why 
Okay, so that should be pretty good. Now, what do we have? Put all these tools to the side. So now we're already at step number 10, number 11. Okay, because I already tightened those up. Okay, so now we're on step number uh, 11, uh, which is the velocity stack. So I'm just going to hold this here and ask my son to get this stuff right there. It says, uh, place, uh, okay, locate the velocity stack, uh, chrome comb from the velocity raptor assembly. Install one of the adhesive back gaskets between the front of the chrome mounting bracket and the back of the velocity stack. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be using the other gasket. Okay, so you got that. Okay, and just want to see what the deal is. Here. Um, just gonna hand the video camera back to him. So, so now we got this right here. We got the other gasket. Um, what I'm gonna do? Clean that up. And. There's only uh, a few uh, holes in there, as you can see, there's not that many. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put the other gasket in there, like that. Okay. Um, so. He's got the adhesive tape in the back. I almost destroy it. You just have to be careful with it. Well, that's really something. It just doesn't want to come out. To be sure you don't break it because it looks like that's what he wants to do. So he's gonna line it up just like so and stays in place. Now, as far as the uh, see just like that that's how it goes with the little nipple to the bottom and one to the back um, anyway um, everything here is taken care of and now I'm gonna take the actual uh, cone the velocity, the velocity stack okay and uh, I'm going to take it like that. Okay, and everything should line up. There should be three, three screws. You're going to use that one, that one, and that one. Only three of them. Um, but it goes, it goes like so. Okay, so, and it says so right, right in here. And pick a number eight says to use three um, so I mean as long as the holes line up I guess it doesn't really matter um, but I'm gonna put it like that I think it's what he's asking for um, just want to be sure that they line up so So I want to see 
I mean, it looks like the way I had it before was the way to go, like this. So now I'm going to take, just be sure that the hole lines up pretty good. And now there's uh, three. Three bolts, um, three black bolts. They all have a Loctite. Um, so just be sure that you have this stuff lined up right before before um, you put them in there too tight, because then the Loctite is going to be going to waste. So it looks like by putting those two, it actually uh, lines up pretty good. Now, I don't see my, the other ones, so it looks like I, I may be off a little bit. So just like I said, you have to keep going around. Um, which ones they're saying I should use? They're saying I should use this one okay the one on the side okay so if I can get three okay it looks like that may be it just one two I seem to be lining up so far and then three so there you have it that's how it's gonna go and if it doesn't line up like that it's not gonna line up at all you're gonna end up using two instead of three so that would mean it's wrong so what I'm gonna do is that I need to mount that first before I put this cone in here okay it looks like these people went all out with this design so right now I'm just gonna find the correct Allen wrench that's not it that's not it and the one my son has is not it either so and it looks like I found it okay so I'm just gonna make it a little snug I'm gonna tighten it up too hard so and everything has gaskets so it seems like it's gonna be a uh, pretty nice so this one two and three and one little tap at the end okay now that's pretty good now there's one more at the end there's one more bolt end which is the bottom one. I cannot find it um, should go down here um, I may have fallen on the floor That's the one that was pretty hard to get out. So it's right there. Now replace it there. The number ten. Ratchet. This is 
this one here. So. Just take care of that. It's a pretty long screw for that. I'm going to use it because that's the only one I got and it looks like it's going right in, no problem. But this for sure is not going to come out unless it breaks. Nice and tight. That's not moving at all. Clean it up a little bit before we go any further. I always like to see shiny stuff. That looks cool. I think this is going to be. A nice improvement on the bike. Now I got this black cup just right there. And then, I mean, everything should be uh, at this stage of the game self explanatory. Now, the way they're saying to assemble this, um, they're saying the cup, the plastic cone goes first, then you put the filter get two sides to it so this side to go to the front holds it right in place looks good then we got the uh, the mesh and uh, we look and there's no parts left so we're good we're in good shape then we have this thing that goes right in there like that that's already starting looking good. So these are the last two pieces here. And we got some shiny uh, Allen bolts for this. And uh, we got quite a few actually. We got five. One, two, three, four, five. There's more than five. I guess. Um, this is a just in case they get stripped but we're only gonna use five and the actual allen that fits there is the same one that I use for the inside so my son is gonna help me out here I'm gonna put it just like that Okay. Gonna line it up, that looks really good. I'm gonna put the one on the top first. That should do it. Then a uh, couple more. One on the bottom. Another one on the bottom. Another one on the top. And then another one on the top. Total five. I got three left. It looks like uh, that's just going to be uh, for spares. That actually looks uh, pretty nice. Took me a while, or took us a while, but it looks really, really nice. And I think it's gonna make the bike sound different.
they go all the way to the bottom or to the end really don't be afraid to uh, take them all the way out to take them all the way to the to the bottom okay so the last part Just here, shine it up. I'm glad I didn't buy one of the other ones. I was gonna buy the one everybody buys, the one that goes up to the front, but I didn't really quite like it. I thought this was unique. And this is actually quite nice, actually, I think. Complements the bike, like everything I'm doing to the bike. Okay. So now the last piece is this thing here, which is the rear cover that goes to the back. It's got those two little pieces of rubber and one on the bottom. I've already taken care of that. Um, that goes like that. shine it up a little bit and that should be it for this like I said it took a while but it's well worth it I'm pretty sure anyone with a little bit of mechanical inclination can take care of this in, a, in an hour or two so you just have to be really sure and um, I mean I even almost had trouble um, preventing it from being scratched and uh, you really have to be really careful especially with this bracket because um, it's pretty big and it goes on top and you know if you don't if you don't um, take care of it it's just gonna get scratched okay so I suppose until the next video and I'm gonna uh, tie up another video with the sound of it after and I'm going to install the seat and everything that's left. Okay, so until the next